James Starling here for the DJAM YouTube channel after today's match day experience between Ransoms and Sportsum. I'm here with uh, Paulie from uh, Ransoms, mate. Um, I think probably the best way I can sum that game up is that first half didn't take your chances, second half they did, and they come away with a 2 0 win. Would you say that's an accurate reflection or would you? No, I, I, I think you're spot on there, mate. I think you're spot on. Like you said, we. <laughs> We created a lot, heck of a lot of chances and got in very good positions in the final third. Mm. And yeah, like I said, our, our final ball, it's either our final ball let us down or our finishing let us down. Right. And yeah, like I said, if you don't take don't take chances against a good team, a very good team sport, and they're well run with Jonathan, you know, he's done a fantastic job there. And if you don't take your chances against good sides, they come back and hurt you. Mm. And uh, that's exactly that's exactly exactly what they done. Yeah. You know, we made two mistakes and they scored they just scored two goals. And they defended really, really well. Defended quite deep after they went two 0 up, and managed the game very, very well. And it, like I said, they were very good sides. You know, it's, it's just probably the kick up the bum that we need, I think. Right. So, what do you kind of put that first half? The not, you know, creating that kind of killer chance down to <laughs> various things. Like I said, I think it, I think a lot of it was final ball. Right. Our final ball in that final third just just wasn't there and. Mm. We didn't get as many people in the box as that I would like as well. You know, we sort of we isolated Isaac in the box on his own against three defenders. And you're asking a lot, yeah. you know, and that's so that was I think that was the big that was the big message from me and Fraser at half time that you know we've got to get that that final ball's got to be better mm. and, and and sort of second half just we just didn't really get out of the trap second half. No. Do you kind of put that down to the conditions, or is that not an excuse in this match? I don't think that's an excuse because, like I said, we've we, we've we've done we've played in we've played in worse. Mm -hmm. You know, last week was very similar conditions at Wickham Market, and we went there and we, we were brilliant. You know, so yeah, that's not an excuse. You know, we 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 we, we were just second best today. Mm. You know, we were second best. They were they, they come here with a game plan to to stay in the game. At, uh, uh, you know, in the first half, and like I said, when they when their chances come, they took them really well. Yeah. Let's put this game aside for a second, though. The start you guys have had to this season is just, you know, from an outside looking in, obviously 100% record up until today. I'll stay away from that one. But, <laughs> but, um, but uh, how, yeah. how, how good has it been? You've been you, you must be really impressed with what you've seen so far. Delighted. Absolutely delighted. And like I said, I said to the boys at half time, I was delighted with the first half performance because the football we played was tremendous. Mm. You know, it, just, it was just that killer, killer, killer third. Considering yeah. the conditions, you played really well. Yeah, right? yeah, we did. Yeah, we did, and that was the message at half time: was to to come out and you know to continue what we were doing. But yeah, the start we've had has been brilliant. Yeah. It's been brilliant. We've played some you know really good sides at Howesworth away, Wickham Market away, mm -hmm. and got big wins. You know, this is the first loss. You know, this might, like I said, it might be the kick up the bum we need. Right. You know, to kick us on a little bit more. You know, Just every a reality check. Yeah, it's not yeah, always yeah. going to go your I way. Yeah, I think it is. I think yeah. it is because the league is very competitive. You know, the yeah. league is very, very competitive. There's some very, very good sides in this league. Sporting, um, like I said, Wickham Market, Halesworth, Kids Grave have started well yeah. with a very young side. We haven't played them yet, but a very young side. And, and uh, like I said, it's a very competitive league. And if you're not on it every game, you'll get found out. Yeah. And we weren't on it for. 45 minutes today and when we come off come away and we made two mistakes and we come away with a loss yeah. and like I said fair play to to Jonathan and any sport and side because they like I said they come here they had a game plan and they, they, they and they performed it very well yeah I mean when I came here at the beginning of last season the difference between the club not both not on the pitch but also off the pitch as well it seems to be more of a I don't know, a bit more of a feel-good factor about oh, what's going yeah. on you, yeah. that, that must have taken a lot of hard work last season to then Bear fruition now. Yeah, like I said, we I, like I said I brought Deeks in alongside me at the start of last season, and we we just sort of we needed to stabilise the club. I was here the, the, the year we got relegated, and uh, and it was a hard season. Yeah. It was a hard season. It took me a lot to come back again. You know, it was a lot of, lot of close people to this football club to me. You know, Alan Mack, Neil Schofield, Russell Haynes, they do an absolutely tremendous job off the pitch, and without them, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. You know, and uh, and and that's. That's because of them. The foundation is there, yeah. you know. Like you say, off the pitch, you've got everything on the pitch. You've got everything. The facilities is amazing, yeah. and yeah, we and that was so that's basically that, you know. We just we come here, and like I said, we brought, I brought Deeks in alongside me. We stabilised the club. We finished fifth last year, and this year we've added, we've added some quality 
they've added some quality players in. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, to now to now go and hopefully push on for promotion. But like I said, we we're not gonna we're not gonna count our chickens. It's early doors. Mm. You know, we've got some big games coming up, and you know we've got a last sixteen tie here in the Bob Coleman Cup. Oh, sorry, the Morrison Freight Cup against Halesworth. Yeah. You know, so that's going to be another tough one. Yeah. We've got Cockfield in the Junior Cup next weekend. Mm. That's a tough one. You know, so they're coming thick and fast, and we, we've, we've got to pick ourselves up quite quickly. And like I said, the boys have got great character. They're great character in there. They, 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 you know, they're sitting in there, and they know they, they didn't perform second half today. Mm. And, and so they'll come out, and yeah, we, like I said, that's now about coming back stronger next, next Saturday against Cockfield. That's it. Well, I wish you all the best of luck for the rest of the season. And I wish you all the best pleasure. with the baby as well, mate. Oh, Congratulations. Pleasure. Well pleasure. done, mate. Thank Thanks, you. Man.